Uh, this is Chris Tompkinson from Google. Yeah, hi. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, I just want to let you know that we had re- received your request to uh, have your number uh, removed from that page, and uh, it'll be off of there within a couple of days. <laughs> you know, this is going on for seven months. Oh, well, I'm very sorry about that. I just want to let you know that we've taken care of it. Yeah, how'd you get my... How, how did you get the information? Where'd you? Who are you, from media? Uh, no, the, the news had called us and let us know about the problem. Yeah, you're from Google Media. That was almost a month ago. Yeah, we... we I'm getting 25 phone calls every single day. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry about that. We get a lot of... I got lot of, 14 phone calls midnight last night. 14. 14. Wow. I've done it online, and nobody's done anything. They were nasty as hell to me. I have an 88-year-old mother-in-law that's been getting phone calls 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm calling... Until... I was just calling to let you know that... I was just calling to let you know we finally taken care of it for you. Yeah, finally, after seven months. Yeah, well, I I was just hoping you'd appreciate it, though. Appreciate it? I've had a heart attack since then. I, I'm serious. I got medical records. Uh-huh. Because of Google? Because I'm getting aggravated. I see. Because every time I call, there's no tech support. Oh, yeah. we d- Nobody does anything. We, d- we don't have tech support here. Or Google. Well, I know. I, hey, I know that. And the receptionist hung up on me 10 million times. Oh, really? Uh-uh. And she said, too bad. You can't, I can't do anything. I asked to speak to a supervisor. Nobody spoke to me. Yeah, but we are taking... It's a little ridiculous the way you run your, your program there. Yeah, well, this is what happened is we, we let the janitor help us with putting phone numbers in, and he, he put your number in instead of the courthouse. Like, he was out... The janitor. Yeah, he was out there mopping, and I'm just like, you know, y- you can help us, because we were short-staffed that day. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Chris Tompkinson. Chris Tompkinson? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm with uh, Google in Virginia. And you're from Google. What is a direct? Is there a direct phone number for, for you in, in case you know nothing gets done? Because I still get phone calls. I've gotten so many phone calls today. Oh yeah. Oh, it's going to take. It's, it's going to take. A, it's going to take a couple days for it to kind of cycle through, and, and then it'll be fixed, and your number won't be on there anymore. That's fine. Yeah, but is there a direct number for you? I don't want to give you that because I, I don't like getting strange. Well, uh, why not? I don't like getting calls all day from people I don't know. Well, you won't get calls all day. I just want to know, just so I have it on record. Oh. Actually, April Fools. I'm not really Google. Hehe, <laughs> isn't that funny? We're, we're not fixing anything. It was all just a joke. Do you get it? Who the fuck are you, man? I'm, I'm an April Fools prankster. Oh, you are. Huh? Uh huh. Do you think it's funny? You're a fucking asshole if you're not from Google. Hello. You know something that was not funny? I thought it was funny. That really wasn't, Chris. It's April Fool's. I don't think so. I don't care. That wasn't funny. I thought... I'm serious. That was not a joke on what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. You really don't. I'm sorry. I thought it was right. I had to get the police... Hey, listen, pal. I had to get the police here the other night because I've been getting phone calls all night. Uh Uh-huh. And the stupid thing is is that you called me with a caller ID from PA, uh-huh. and then you do this game. I, I thought it would brighten up your day with, like, an April Fool's joke. No, like, it did not brighten up my day. It got me a little bit more pissed off. Oh. It really did. I, I, thought, I thought it would help you. No, nothing will help me when, when I'm going through for the past seven months, and nobody's helping me from Google. Come here. Why don't you change your number? Why should I change my number? I have the number first. Well, that way you... If your janitor entered it wrong, it's not my fault. Well, I, it's not my fault he's an idiot. That's why, I guess, hey, let that's, me ask that's you why something. he's a janitor. Let that's me right. ask you something. Listen, Chris. If, let me ask you something. If I buy a house, somebody comes over to me and says, hey, you got to move out. Do I have to move out? It's my house first. Why should I change my number when I had it first? And I got hundreds of people that have my number, and Google wouldn't even change it, even though I did it on the computer for three months. It seems like it'd be a lot easier than going through all this. Say that again. It, it seems like it'd be a lot easier than than putting up with all this, like all the phone calls. Oh, I shouldn't have to change my number. You guys should enter it correctly. You know something? My number is not even close to what the courthouse number is. Yep. 
not even close. I'm not even with Google, though. It was an April Fool's joke. I was just kidding around. <laughs> yeah, when I called back, it said you were from Google. That, that was part of the joke. Oh, well, part of the joke on your recorder. You know something? Uh -huh. I have a lawsuit, and you guys are screwed. And I got your number, I got your name, uh -huh. and you did the wrong thing, pal. I'm telling you. You did the wrong what, thing. What, playing an April Fool's joke on April 1st? Listen, son of a bitch. I'm telling you, listen. You did the wrong thing. I ain't playing games here. Well, every... What do you think, I went on the news for nothing? No, of course. I went on the news for my health? <laughs> I have an 88-year-old mother-in-law that needs phone calls at 7 o'clock in the morning, and you play this stupid joke? You should turn off the ringer. You know something? You should shut your mouth, because you're in trouble now. I'm telling you. Your name is on my list. Goodbye. How, Don't call how me. How big's your list? Thanks for that intro song, JD. Hey, everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Roy. This is episode 526 for January 10th, 2019. And it's brought to you by Xander Fett, Toiny Toiny, Weird Shortwave Listener, Effin' Reality, and Brown Magic. Thanks, all of you, for being the sponsors of today's show. That audio that you heard today on the very beginning of the show, that was Grouchy Old Man. And it's recently come to my attention that some people don't know who that guy is. They don't know the story behind Grouchy Old Man. That stuff with him happened, I don't know, like six or seven years ago. He was on the news because Google accidentally put his phone number down as a courthouse phone number. So he was just getting dozens of calls every single day in the stupid news program. They showed his phone number on the news segment. I think Linear told me about this back during the phone show days. So I called him up and I did that prank with him saying I was from Google. I just made that one single phone call to him, and he made that call back to me. I thought that was the end of it. And then I think maybe a week later, we called him up on the phone show. Me and Linear did. We called him up live on the show. That's where this clip comes from. I'm calling 12 o'clock on a fucking midnight, damn it! I don't remember exactly. I think we just made a couple quick calls to him. We had a good laugh about it. But then somehow he figured out who we were. And the following week, he started pranking the show. He decided he was going to completely ruin the phone show by repeatedly pranking us throughout the entire night. And that got pretty crazy. So I made a PLA radio episode about this guy. Episode number 28. It's called Grouchy Old Man. And I'm going to put a link to that episode in the show notes. If you want to listen to it, it's 30 minutes of just grouchy old man and the various pranks to him and just us talking about him and everything. It's kind of fun to listen to, I think. It's been a while since I've heard it. Two important things before we get started today. Number one, there is a brand new Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls out. You can listen to that by going to worldofprankcalls.com. Remember the Dart League episode? That was from back in 2016. I did a live show where I called up people who were on Dart Leagues. I turned that into a World of Prank Calls episode, so go listen to that. It's a lot of fun. I forgot how crazy that show was. And also, we did another call-in show yesterday. The PLA call-in, whatever it's called show. The show that doesn't have a name. It has a name now. We figured it out last night on the show. That show is now called Hang Up the Phone. And you can listen to that by looking in the show notes. There's a link to it. I haven't put it on the podcast feed yet, but I probably will tomorrow or tonight or sometime soon, I'm sure. Next week, who knows? But the streaming version is still up on Facebook. I'll put a link to that in the show notes if you want to hear that. Me and Not Biggs had some good calls from, I don't know, Jack Heliquin and Casper, a bunch of other people. Katie Baker, she called in. That's about all I can remember. So go listen to that. Link's in the show notes on snowplowshow.com or probably on YouTube and Patreon and everywhere else. No, I don't go to the go cup places and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go cups out the window because I don't have any. Hello? Hi there, uh, this is Roy. 
I'm calling about those two new patio chairs. Oh, hi, Roy. No, I sold them already. Oh, that's good, because I didn't want them anyway. I wasn't interested. Okay, good. Good. I, like, <laughs> you just wanted to chat. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to chat with you. I, I'm just saying, like, the, <laughs> like I look, the, the chairs, they don't sound like anything I would need. Okay. I, I already have patio well, chairs. Well, very good. So, you know, you can stop trying to push those on me. I will do that, I promise. Okay. It's just, you know, I just don't need All them. Right. There's no reason for me to have them. That's good. I That's have, good, Roy, because I, I can't remember his name. Some other guy got him. <laughs> I, I have a set of four. Okay, good. So why would I need extras? My patio is not even that big. Exactly. I mean, how many chairs can you sit in at one time? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> All right, Roy. Okay. Well, you're happy sitting. Yeah, well, no, it's, it's too cold out this time of year. I'm not going to be sitting out there. Come on. Yeah, it is kind of miserable, isn't it? What the heck? Um, yep, yep. Yeah, tomorrow will be better, though. I hope so. Me too. Yeah. All right. Well, you have a good one. All right. Um, you know, Thanks, v- Viva La Revolution. That's right. All right, bye. Bye. Okay, that was completely stupid, but somebody's been telling me that I need to call up Craigslist people and tell them I'm not interested in whatever they're selling, and that was not Craigslist. This is actually a list that Max Power sent to me a few days ago. It's a homeowner's uh, buy and sell thing. He doesn't give me links or anything. He just says, this is the so-and-so homeowners association. Here's the city and gives me a text-based list of everything that's being sold currently. And on this first one, there are eight different numbers, eight different items. Hello? Hello, is Skip around? Uh, yeah, May. Tell him who's calling. Yeah, it's uh, Roy. I'm calling about those 30 free roof tiles. Oh, they've already been taken, Roy. Sorry, okay? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm the one that took them. No, they haven't been? Okay, <laughs> I, hang on. I'm the one that took... Go, Skip. I'm... Oh, wait a minute. Skip... You're the one that got them, huh? Yes, yeah, you don't have to be a smartass. I was trying to tell you I'm the one that took them. Jeez. <laughs> no, I, I thought Skip was on the phone. I'm not trying to be a smartass. <sighs> okay. Hang on. Can, right, can I have him call you back? Why? He's Why can't just, just get him? Because if I told you, then he'd say, Why did you tell him I'm in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, it's just pass him the phone under the door or something. It's fine. <laughs> He'll yell at me. It's, you you want to hear him yell? Yes, please. Oh, I think you're the smart ass, Roy. Am um, I wrong? You started it, you know. <laughs> Roy said I should pass this to you, and I Ooh. want to hear you yell. The guy that took the roof tiles. Hello? Hey, Skip. It's, uh, I, hey. Got, I got those 30 roof tiles from you. Yeah. Are you sitting on the toilet? I am. I don't know why she's telling you stories, but yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, um, I put those on a roof thing that I was working on, you know. Uh huh. And uh, I don't know what those things are made out of, but they heated up and they um, caught on fire, and my house burned down, or my my shed. <laughs> I hope you're full of it. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not kidding. So uh, basically, you owe me a new house. I gave the insurance company your name and phone number, so they're going to be calling you soon. Give it to the insurance company. They can take care of it. (laughs) Yep. Are you you doing number one or number two? I know some guys like to to sit down for number one. Oh, I was doing some reading. Okay. Well, no, she said you're on the toilet. She told me all about it. (laughs) You don't have to pretend. Nothing like a good wife, huh? Yeah, I can tell by the acoustics. So, what can I do for you? Uh, basically, I just need a new shed. My, my entire shed is burned to the ground, thanks to your tiles. Your def- I mean, defective... those tiles were on my roof for 30 years, so... Yeah, what, I don't know what you did to them. Like, you gave me defective tiles, or maybe they wear out with age. I, I just don't know. All I know is they burned down my shed. And I don't appreciate it. I mean, I, I don't know. Those are the tiles the roofers put on there, and that's the ones they took off. Hmm. And you hmm. see the lines on there. Very suspicious. 
I, like what percent of the way would you say you're currently done with pooping? Like how much have you I'm pooped? done. I'm uh, done. Okay. Have you wiped? Yep. I'm all, I'm all done. Uh, I didn't hear you get up or anything. Like, are you sure you wiped? Did you wipe good enough? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's all taken care of. All right. I just want to make sure because, I mean, it sounds like you're still in the bathroom to me. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, good. So anyway, if those were such good roofing tiles, how come you got rid of them? Well, because when they put, uh, I, I think I told you this, when they put the solar on, they removed those and put metal tiles in their place for the stanchions on the solar. Why didn't you just keep them just in case? You know, what if there's a windstorm and you have to have extra shingles and now you're not going to have them? I do have two of them up in the attic. You're probably going to, like, come and ask me about them. You know, ask for them back if the wind blows them off your roof. The roofing company guarantees the roof, so. And I did put a couple up in the attic. Yeah, but if you've had that roof for that long, they're not going to have the same type of shingles or tiles or whatever. You're going to be screwed. They added 200 and... When they re-roofed, they added 260. What kind of solar tiles did you get? Oh, gosh, I don't know. That was... Did you get one of those Tesla roofs? Pardon? Did you get one of those Tesla roofs? Those solar cities? No, it, yeah, it was something like Solar City, but I don't think that's the one. Did you get a power wall? It was back when there were a whole lot of really good rebates. Yeah. And then, like I said, I had, days. you know, ropes and did such a wonderful job of construction. Uh, I had to replace my roof this year. How come when I was there picking up those roof tiles, your wife was giving me snake eyes the whole time? I don't know. That's the way she is. Yeah, I, didn't. I mean, she told you what I'm doing. I know. I don't know how you put up with that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's tough, but you know. Yup. So what you doing today? Oh, just paperwork. What kind of paperwork? Like yeah. toilet paper? Both kinds. Both kinds, yeah. That's great. Good to know. I still don't think you wiped enough. Hmm, okay. I'll check that out. Okay, that's good. That's great. Anyway, hang up the phone. Okay. Just hang it up. Yep, we'll do. Right bye. now. All right, bye. Okay, bye. You owe me a roof. <laughs> Apparently, everybody in this neighborhood is just in a really great mood today. Nobody's going to care, no matter what I say to them. Here's one that doesn't even have a phone number on it. Way to go, Max Power. Where's the phone number? The one for these magazines? Here's someone that wants a cast iron skillet, willing to negotiate the price. Hello. Hello, David. Yes. I was calling about that cast iron skillet. Yeah, we bought one. Thank you. Well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not calling to offer one. Uh, I don't even have okay. one. <laughs> but we're all fat. Uh, what? Made me fat. Okay. Tell me what you're calling about. Who's that in the background? Like, I'm. I'm. This is Roy from the homeowners association. Okay. What do you need that cast iron skillet for? For cooking, of course. Well, what, how are you going to cook? You're not making one of those uh, solar cookers, are you, outside? You're not allowed to do that. No, no, no. No, no, I'm not. You're not using, like, one of those old projection screen TVs like Badfish used to do? No. Because we can't have that. You, you set the whole neighborhood on fire. Yeah, I hear you. Thank you. We don't need that around here. I, I said I'm not doing it. Okay, well, I don't know. It sounds kind of like maybe you're not being honest with me and... Like, why would you need a cast iron skeleton to cook if you're not using the solar? Okay, there he goes. Did you hear that? We almost had some conflict on that one. It almost got crazy. Hello? Hey there, uh, I was calling about your uh, 2007 club car. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Uh, is that still available? No, I sold it. Okay, well, we're the ones that bought it. That was a test question. What's that? We're the ones that bought it. My husband bought it from you. Oh, she bought it. We bought it. We're the ones that bought it. We have it now. It's ours. They bought it. Oh, they, okay. Yeah, we bought Uh, it. Listen to the lady. We bought it. Okay. Yeah, um, Why were you calling? Well, we um, we were trying to reupholster the seat in it, and and we cut it open with a knife around the edge. And did you know there's a bunch of money in there? 
Okay, now, uh, is this the one I just delivered at? Yeah, the 2007. The club car. Is this Terry? Uh, well, this is, is this Terry. This is Carol. T Terry is the other, the one you sold it to. Okay. But yeah, we cut open the seat, and there's a bunch of money in here. It's not. Is it your money? Well, it's it's got to be at least a hundred thousand dollars here. Oh. In okay. The, in the seat. Uh, where? All right. So basically, we got it for um, free because you know we only we we well, what would we pay like two thousand dollars for it? But now we got all this free right. money. Like we got a hundred thousand dollars here, and I think there's more okay. in the other seat too. Okay, now we can where it. where are you at? I'm at home. Okay, where's that? Why? No, you can't come here and have our money. This is our money now. Okay. I'm just saying. Well, th thanks for all that money. What's that? I'm just saying thank you for all that money. Like you, you gave us, we're, we're, we can basically retire at this point. Okay, well, I guess, I, I don't know what to tell you. I wasn't aware that it was there. Yeah, where, where did it all come from? Where did you get all this money? It's not like dirty money, is uh, it? What's that? It's not dirty money, is it? I have no idea. Where did you get it? Why did you put it in the seat like this? This is weird. No, I, I didn't put it there. Well, I mean, you must have noticed it. Like, the seat wasn't even comfortable. It was all lumpy because it had all this these bundles of money in there. You know? The uh, The 2007 clip car. Yeah. Okay. They had all this money in I it. Did. Like, all the bills are from... Okay. They're from around 2010. It's all brand new money, sequential serial numbers. Okay. Do you know now, if we can still spend that? that? Cart, now, just listen to me a minute. Okay. That cart, that cart I sold to a couple in, I just delivered it. Is that the one with the blue back seat on it? Yeah. Well, it's all cut up now. We, we, cut, we cut that up with a knife. We're going to cut up the next one. We're going to cut up the other seat, too. Is this Terry? No, this is Carol. Ter Carol Terry, who? Terry's my honey baby. Ter Terry's the what? one. Terry's the one you sold it to. Okay. Yeah, so we cut open the bottom part of the seat, and we got a, a, at least $100,000. And I think the back of the seat's probably going to have money, too, because it's all lumpy. Okay, how did you get it? Because, uh, uh, you know, Terry, me, me and Terry, we're, we're, we're pals. Okay. All right. Well, I just talked to her husband today. Yeah. Jim? Yeah, but Terry's okay, going to let I me got... use it. What's that? Terry's going to let me use this all the time. So I was reupholstering it for him, but then I found all this money. Okay. So I don't think I have to give the money to Terry either. I think it's just my money. Okay, well, I'm still gonna reapply. You, know, you know, I I bought the cart from a wholesaler. From from like a bank robber or something. Well, no, the guy I I bought carts from him before. Uh, oh my gosh! I know one thing. It came it came from a casino. Oh, it all makes sense it, now. Then it it came from a casino. Oh, yeah, that one. Right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm basically rich now. I don't have to reupholster seats for a living anymore. Okay. Basically, well, I, I can just give Terry her money back and, and say, yeah, I don't have to do this anymore. I don't feel, yeah. like, I don't feel like it. But do you, do you think okay, there's money well, in, the, in the back part of the seat, too? Because I don't want to take that apart if there's no money back there. Well, ma'am, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is, is I bought the cart, I sold it to Terry and Tim, and I delivered it the other day. 
Okay. But well. I can tell you the history. The card came from a talking stick casino. Okay. Well, I'm not giving it back to them either. You know, it's my money now. I'm keeping it all. Okay. It's all my money. Well, I'm I'll not be even glad to share it with you. No, I'm not even going to tell my husband about it. Okay. All right. What do you mean, share it with me? Well, good, well, good luck. But what's that lady saying in the background? What's that? But what was that lady saying in the background? I don't know. Yeah. She just talks and talks, doesn't she? All right. Thanks for calling. So, so like, you don't know where this money came from? I have no idea. What would you do if I told you it was mine? Oh, I'd say too bad. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Because you sold it to, to Terry and Jim. And, you know, now it's... Uh, I guess, do they know that you found the money? No, no, don't tell them either. Because I'm, I'm just going to finish reupholstering the seat for them. And I'm just going to keep the money. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Don't, don't, are you going to tell them on me? Cause, cause I don't no, wanna, I won't say anything. Because I don't want to share the money. Yeah. I, I don't even like Terry, to be honest. I think she's kind of a bitch. i tell you what. If, if you give me 10000 I won't tell them. Uh, uh, no. No, I mean, just, wow, trying to extort me now. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Uh, well... I won't report you to the IRS then. Oh, I'm going to pay my taxes. Okay. Who, who says I'm not going to pay taxes? I've got plenty of money to pay my taxes now. So okay. nice, nice try. All right. But, but like I say, for $5,000, i will keep my mouth shut. Oh, uh, no. Like you said before 10000 So if, if I keep... Well, I drop. If I keep holding off, like, maybe it'll go down to, like, you know, 20 bucks. You want me to give you 20 bucks? Well, no, it's worth more than that. I don't know. Not to me. Okay. Like, I... All right. I, I don't, you know, really, I, just, I don't even care if Terry knows. I'm going to tell Terry you're trying to okay. extort me. Okay. I'm going to tell Terry on you. All right. Good luck with it. Okay. Well, I mean, why are you trying okay. to extort money out of me? That's not cool. I got to go. I'll see you. Where are you, guys, where are you guys at? Where are you driving to? I'm just pulling into the police station. Nuh-uh. Yeah. I don't believe you. I got your number. I got your number here, so thanks for calling. Which police station? Goodbye. Oh, you, wow. You don't have an answer for that. It's because you're lying. You're a liar and, a, and an extortionist. If I was your wife, I'd be very ashamed of you for trying to do that. Oh, my God. Hello? Did you forget to hang up? I hear footsteps. Uh, I know. I just talked to Tim this morning. Oh, Tim. Tim and Terry. Oh, they hung up finally. And I sat there and listened to them for a good, I don't know, probably five minutes. And what do you know? They weren't at the police station. Mr. Extortionist was lying to me. I didn't mean to use the Carol voice on that one. I was playing around with the VT3 while the phone was ringing and accidentally did that. And during the call, I did a search for the 2007 club car. Turns out it's a golf cart. There's only one seat in it, but I think a backwards facing seat seems to be optional. I was hoping he was going to try and call Terry. I had my phone ringing already here for him so I could answer as Terry. Listen to that guy tattle on Carol. So, okay, we've got another uh, golf cart here for sale. It's a 2001 and it pretty much looks just like the other one. Hello? 
Hey there, I was calling about that easy go gol- golf cart thing. Just just one moment. Okay, why? The golf cart. And this is from your room. This is not from right here. Hello? Hello, I was calling about that golf cart you're selling. Oh, yes. And, uh, well, this is Roy from the uh, Village Homeowners Association. Okay. What, what are you selling? Uh, okay. what, what are you selling cars and stuff for? This ain't no damn auto lot. Can't be selling cars around here. What do you think this is? Bunch of hobos living around here. Yeah, so, all the hobos that live in the selling cars on their own property. You can't do it's that. A golf cart. You need to. T- yeah, well, I can. Same thing. Same thing. It's a. So it's I a, can. It's a motorized vehicle. You need to take that down. I don't. Have, what do you mean take it down? You guys put it up. Yeah, but you know you're the one that submitted it. You can't do that. You need to. You guys approved it. Hey, listen. Talk to the people in the office. They're the ones that suggested it. They're the ones that put it up. That does. If that's you don't no want excuse. It, have them take it down. It's no excuse. You need to submit a that's, form. You're right. There's there, well, if there's an excuse, that's the answer. You need to call them and tell them to take it down. And he hung up. Hello, this is Norma. Um, John and Norma are not available right now. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Hello, it's me. Pick up the phone. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up. Hello, are you there? It's it's me, down the street. Can you hear me? Hello, are you there? Damn it, I was hoping that would work, but that just made them hang up on me somehow. Oh well. Here's 100 square feet of 30 by 6 ceramic floor tile. 30 by 6. Hello. Hey, I was calling about your 30 by 6 ceramic floor tile. Oh, yeah. Do you still have those? Still have them. Okay, that's great. I'd like to buy those. Perfect. Can I break them in your driveway? Yeah, you can come in the driveway, yeah. No, I want to break them. I'm going to, like, I'm going to take them outside and just break them on the ground. Oh, you're going to break them? Like one at a time. I'm going to just throw them down and just listen to them shatter. Listen to the ceramic. Oh. Just, you know, like those breaking <laughs> noises. Uh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Well, well, do you have a solid driveway? Do you have a concrete driveway? or like maybe Yeah, I can just... yeah it's concrete. Okay, it's perfect then. No, I can do that. So yeah, hunt... I don't know. I find any... We don't need the mess out there. Yeah, well, you know, you can sweep it up. It'll give you something to do. Will you take eighty dollars for them instead of a hundred? No, I think I'm pretty firm at a hundred. Okay, a hundred it is. I'll can uh, guess I'll come there tonight if that's good with you. What are, What are you breaking them up for? I just want to break them. I just just um, you know just like stress relief. It's very zen. Oh. It's like it's like my kind of meditation. Yeah, that's not. No, we don't want you doing that either. You don't want me meditating. That like you're going against my religious beliefs. Okay, he's gone. No breaking the ceramic floor tiles for me. Here's a jitterbug flip phone, eight weeks old. It has voice dialing. Only twenty five bucks. Why would they get rid of it if it's only eight weeks old? Hello. Hey there. Uh, this is Carol from the Jitterbug Phone Company. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know that, um, you know, we're able to hear everything you say, even when you're not on the phone. And you need to stop being racist, ma'am. What? You just need to stop being racist. It's not cool. It's 2018. What are you, what are you talking about? So we're able to hear your conversations, even when you're not on, on your jitterbug phone. And we can hear you guys being racist in there. Well, I think you need to talk to my husband. Just a minute, okay. please. George, pick up the phone. Jitterbug. How do you hear us, by the way? Oh, yeah, Hello? there's a, there's a, a microphone. Oh, be quiet, George is on the phone. Hello, George. Hi. Hey, it's uh, Roy. It's, I mean, it's Carol from Jitterbug. Yes. And um, we're just, we're able to hear you on your phone, even when you're not talking on the phone. Yes. And you guys are being racist, and you need to stop doing that. What do you mean? 
Well, you know, you're just making racist remarks and saying racist things and just in general being racist. We are not. Oh, yes, you are. We can hear it. Well, could you let me hear it? Oh, no, no. We, that's, uh, you know, we're not allowed to play the recordings back for other My people. wife and I are not racist, Mrs. I don't know what's going on, but we do not talk racist in this house. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's you. Like, I recognize your voice. We've been listening, and you guys are being so racist. Well, honestly, I... You're not... My, my, wife, wants to, my wife even asked, how do you hear that? Because uh, there's a microphone on the phone. There's a microphone on the phone? Well, I don't speak... Who's speaking racist, my wife or me? Uh, the both of you. And also, like, you're watching racist television shows. Uh-huh. And it's just not cool to be racist. You know, it's 2018. Please don't be racist. Okay, maybe while we're watching racist television shows, we're saying things, huh? Yeah, well, you're saying, like, lots of racist things. Okay. And you're well, not allowed to do we'll... that. It's against the law to be racist. Yes, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do better. Okay, um, can you ask your wife if she'll stop being racist, too? Yes, here, I'll let you talk to her. Yes, she said she will. Oh, no, I didn't hear you even ask. But don't. What's that? Don't, I didn't hear you even ask her. Don't, don't lie, come on. No, she just shook her head. She heard me. I'm not lying to you. Well, it sounds like you're lying, like you're, you told me. But do you want to continue talking to me or not? I said I'm not lying to you. Well, I don't know my if I want to talk to her. My wife heard my voice, and she shook my head. She shook you. She shook her head. Okay, well, I'm just saying, maybe just stop being a racist, okay? Because it's not cool. Yes, we will. Because you're, you're being so racist, and we don't appreciate it. You know, we have to sit here and listen well, to you. Well, how many times are you going to tell me? Well, you know, we have to sit here and listen to you all day, and you're just being racist. Day in and day out, just always being racist. Huh. Okay, you done now? Um, well, d just make sure you stop being racist. Okay, and if we do, then just uh, we'll quit using your telephone. How's that? Oh, no, no, you're not allowed to quit. You're under a contract. What do you mean I'm under a contract? Oh, you're under a contract. Two-year contract. You're not allowed to stop using the jitterbug phone. We're under a two-year contract? That's right. When I bought it, they said I could quit at any time as long as I wanted to quit my, uh, my telephone service. Yeah, you can quit any time you want, but we'll charge you a $600 quitting fee. Oh, I see. Okay. What's your last name? Uh, it's Gersperms. What? Gersperms. Carol Gersperms. Carol you're, what? You're in the customer service department. Car customer service department. Carol, what, say your last name, Carol, please. Gersperms. Could you spell that? No. It's, you know, just common spelling. Carol what? Gersperms. Common spelling of Gersperms. Gersperm? Gersperms. Could you spell your last name, please? Oh, sure. It would be G E R S E B E R M Z. Gersperms. That's D E R S E B E R V N V? Yeah, yeah, like I love Gersperms. Okay, thank you. Well, hey, um, are, are you guys going to stop being racist, though? I know what it is. You are you going to stop being racist, though, she said. Yeah, well, you just, you know what it is? I'm, I'm, I don't want it. I should call back now and try to buy the jitterbug phone. But no, no, let's just move on to the next one. We've got nightstands here. We've got water filters. We've got some women's boots. Hello. Hello. Uh, I was calling about those women's boots that you're selling. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, do those are they still available? Uh, yes, they are. Okay, great. Do they? Do, can you still wear them? Oh yeah. I mean, myself, I don't. But yes, you can. But I mean, they still fit you and everything. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I was wondering. Um. You know, like, I'm in the middle of a divorce right now. Do you think you could come over to my house wearing the boots and just kind of be hanging out when my wife comes by to pick up the kid? And, you know, just to make her jealous because she always wanted boots like that. 
The, uh, the, no, sir. This is an inappropriate call. No, no, we don't have to do anything. I'm just saying, <laughs> oh, man. They're woman's coal hand boots is what they're called for 45 bucks. I don't know if those are super nice boots or anything, but that lady's not willing to make my ex-wife jealous, damn it. Oh, well. Hello. Hello. I was calling about your nightstands that you're selling. Yes, I only have one left. Which and one? it's a dark brown. Okay. And there, it's, ten, and it's, ten it's $10. $10. Okay. Yeah, I don't want either one of them, though. Okay. I, I just, like, I have no use for them. Just, like, there's no reason I would ever buy them. Either one of them. Oh, well, why did you call then, honey? Uh, just to let you know that I don't need them. Oh, well, who is, did you call before or something? Oh, no, no, this is my first call. I just noticed on the homeowner's website thing, it said you're selling these two nightstands. Mm-hmm. And, mm -hmm. like, I just don't need them. Like, I already have a nightstand. Uh, it works just fine. There's no reason for me to need another nightstand. Okay. So I don't need them. Oh, well, that's fine. Yep, yep. I, like, you don't need to try and sell them to me anymore. Well, honey, I'm not trying to sell them to you. Well, I, I put a Bolton... I put a card on the bulletin board. That's all I did. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. Like, I, I looked at it, and I saw it, and I'm like, uh, why would I need this? I'm just, yeah, so I'm, sure. I'm just calling to let you know. Like, I don't need it. Okay, honey. Thanks like, for calling. There's no reason for it. I mean, I just don't need it. So please try, stop trying to market things toward me. I I wasn't. I wasn't. Well, you kind of were. You, you put it right... You put it right. I mean, just by putting a card on a bulletin board was marketing you. Yeah, well, you put it right there on the board, and I walk by there every day, so I saw it. You, you but, don't. I I walk by it every day too, and I just don't pay any attention if I don't need something. Yeah, you should just try and sell it to someone else. I don't. I don't want it. Well, that's fine. Like I don't. I don't need that's a, Okay. I like. I'm happy with my current nightstand. I'm sure you are. Yep. Okay, bye-bye. So thank you, but no thank you. Lady can't take no for an answer. Here's a handyman for hire. Hello. Hello. I was just calling about your handyman services. Uh-huh. Um, I just I have a job I was wanting to get an estimate on. Okay. Uh, I, I need someone to go to my ex-wife's house. And just drill a drywall screw through the front door frame so she can't get out. <laughs> Keep her in there. Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I want to make her late for work in the morning so she gets fired. Oh. <laughs> well, I probably couldn't go do that. <laughs> Why not? But it's a good idea. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I'm I'm completely serious. I, I need someone to do this for me, and I want to keep it on the DL. And I was thinking, like, maybe just a hundred bucks to go do this. <laughs> it just take you a minute. Uh, Do you have like a cordless power drill? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Just like drill a screw through the door frame and the door, and you know, just keep both the front door and the back door from opening. Well, like I said, I don't know what the liabilities on that would be. <laughs> it, it'll be fine. It, like, it's not like your house is going to catch on fire. I just want to get her f fired from work. Yeah. Uh, well, all. no, I probably couldn't. Where's it at? Oh, it's it's here in in. Um, oh, is that right? <laughs> yep, yep. Over on Salina Street. Well, no, I guess I probably couldn't do that, bud. But I appreciate your calling. Well, I am um, like, what if I pay you a hundred bucks? Two? Well, like I said, I don't know. I don't know what my liabilities on that would be. Uh, yeah, if, but if uh, something if something happened, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. That's, I'm afraid I'd be... Nah, if there's a fire or but, something, she can climb out the window. She She's not... <laughs> she, <laughs> so... But, like, but I, you know, a hundred bucks... I do appreciate your calling, though. That, that's a hundred bucks for two drywall, t two drywall screws. That's that's a, an well, amazing deal. Come on. Like I, like I said, I'm just, I, I probably can't go do that. Well, <laughs> what, what would your price be, then? Well, I... You know what? I'm not. I'm. I'm just not going to go do it. I'm sorry. Well, Two hundred dollars. <laughs> no, I can't do it. But hundred dollars a sorry. screw. Three hundred dollars. 
it just uh, like I said, I uh, if if anything happened, they'd be hauling me off to jail. So no, no, I won't even <laughs> tell anyone that you did it. We'll do cash. I'll pay cash. You can just deny you did it. Also, um, you know, you just they they can say I did it. I'm gonna have an alibi, so they won't. <laughs> they'll know I didn't do it. I'm gonna make myself visible while you're out there doing that. But no, I'm not gonna do it, buddy. I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> No, I can't. I just not go work out. Ha- haven't you ever been divorced? Oh, uh, so several times. <laughs> yeah. See, come on. It, it's funny, really. Like it's it's just it's basically a practical joke, but one where she gets but, fired from work. But uh, she, she's, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> she she's you know she's got like two strikes already. They're about to. Okay, there he goes. No handyman for me. It's gonna have to do the job myself. Here's someone that has some moving boxes. To anyone that might need them. All in excellent condition. Hello? Hello, I was calling about those moving boxes. Oh, I'm sorry, they're gone. Ah, fuck! Excuse me? I said fuck! You know, just fuck! Now I gotta go, like, the... Oh, okay, apparently I'm not allowed to show emotion with that lady. Whatever. Hello? Hello, I was calling about that um, exercise machine that you're selling. Oh, yes, hi. Hi, is that still available? Yeah, you mean the Nordic Track or yeah. the, the Nordic Track machine? Yeah, that's the one for 50 bucks. Yeah, it's for sale. Would you be able to deliver that? Um, not sure where you're talking about. I live out of... Yeah, yeah, we're nearby. Um, my ex-wife, um, I, I want to have it delivered onto her front porch, just as like a because we're in the middle of a divorce, and and I okay. want you to put a note on it that says, "Here, you know, maybe you can lose some weight now that you need to find a new man." Oh, <laughs> you'll have to do that yourself. I'm afraid that. Well, well no, no, I, I need I I need to like have an alibi when you deliver it. I need to be out in public somewhere so people know I didn't do it because I don't want it to come up in the oh. divorce. I'm. Well, I can just, give it. I can sell it to you, and then if you want to have a friend deliver it to her, oh, that would be wonderful. But you know, I could give you a hundred bucks instead of fifty if, if you'll deliver it and put a mean message on it. Um, don't like to do that. Why not? That would get me in trouble with someone. I'm sure. No, no, it wouldn't. Like you just go up there and do it. They'll, they'll never know it was you. Well, and if they catch yeah, you, that's just play okay. Down. I'll, I'll, I'll forego the sale of it then. If, in that case, yeah, but c- you're turning down a hundred bucks. Like that's a really awesome. Well, you can you can pay whatever you'd like for it, but it, I'm not going to deliver it. Well, what about two hundred bucks? No, thank you. I'm just I'm just doing psychological warfare on my my ex wife to be. Oh well, you can with, do that with your friends. I just want I don't have any friends. Sure, I just want to. Sure mess. you have enough friends that you could do that. No, with I don't have any friends. I'd probably be happy to help you out. I don't have any friends. I need someone to do this for me, please. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I won't do it. Why not? Um, that's all I need to say. Well, why won't you appreciate do it? Your, you're being appreciate your call. You're being though. kind of a dick. Why can't you just do it? No, goodbye. It's good money. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. Yes. Yeah, you forgot to say hello. I'm calling about your uh, twin bed for $20. Yeah. Would you be able to deliver that? It depends where, where I'd have to deliver it to. Uh, we're right here in... Um, I want to have it delivered. I want to put it on my ex-wife's front porch. Um, just a reminder that now she sw- sleeps alone. I think I'll stay away from that one. Oh no, it's cool. Like I can, I, I'll give you like an extra thirty dollars to deliver it. I still think I'll uh, pass on that. It's 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 in a box anyway. You'd have to blow it up. Uh, oh, it's a blow up twin bed. Yeah. Yep. Oh well, that's fine. You know, it'll, it'll still send the message to her. I'm just trying to upset her and just mess with her emotionally. Uh, like I said, I think I'll stay away from that one. Because we're in the middle of a divorce. Coming. <laughs> What's that? We're in the middle of a divorce, and I can't be seen doing uh, it. I gather. It'll, it'll look bad on me if I get caught putting that on her porch. Yeah. But if you do it, you can just play dumb. Uh, I think I'll pass on it anyway, but <sighs> I, I, I appreciate your humor in it. Yeah, well, I mean, what about $80 extra? No. I'll give you eighty dollars no, plus plus the twenty for the bed. But can you blow it up? No, thanks. Can you blow it up and, and like set it out there and 
you know, put the mean note on it? No, I can't. Just be like, ha ha! You you, you don't need a twin. You don't need <laughs> like a you said, I, queen I, size I anymore. I appreciate your humor, but it's not that I. It's not a case of money. I just don't want to get into anything like that. Oh, uh, you won't get in trouble. Good luck. The odds. I know what time she works, so I can tell you the best time to deliver it, where you won't get caught. Uh no thanks. Please. <laughs> no thanks. Uh, you can come and get the bed for 20 bucks and get one of your buddies to do it. Oh, I don't have any friends. Uh, what about your wife? <laughs> Would she do it? Uh, nope. Dang it. How do you know? You didn't even ask her. <laughs> She's not here. That's why I can't ask her. Oh, well, do you have her number? I'll call and ask her if she'll do it. Uh, oh, She's down in Los Angeles shopping. Well, I won't try to steal her from, from you, I promise. <laughs> no. Even though I'm in, Sorry, the market. Man. I'm in the market I, now. I just... Can't help you. All right. Well, thanks for nothing then, I guess. <laughs> okay, good luck. All right, bye. Bye now. Nobody wants to help me piss off my ex-wife. I don't understand why. Here's a large round mirror, 42 inches across. Sounds like it'd be great for breaking. Maybe they'll let me break it in the house. Or I could leave it on my ex-wife's porch. You have reached the voice cell box for power email. They're not picking up. I could have asked them to deliver it with a message that says, here's a mirror wide enough for you to see your whole body in now. <laughs> that would have been a good one. I'll have to save that one, maybe for later. Hello? Hey there. Um, I'm calling about your Samsung soundbar and subwoofer. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Hi. Hi. Is that still uh, available? It is available. Uh-huh. For 125 Um. Let me see. What did I? Is that's that what, what I had listed? Yeah, that's what it says on here. Okay. But um, it, does it like? Can you plug in like a, a memory card in it and play like uh, you know, music through the memory card? Or you know, you... I don't know. I I I really don't know a lot about it. It yeah. uh, was like a promotion that came with the TV about two years ago, and. I see. I kept it, and I just didn't, I just never used it. I see. Well, um, like, is there any way you could deliver it? Where are you? Um, well, I'm, I'm here in, but um, I, I want to have, like, I want to have it sent to my ex-wife's house. She lives here in the city, too. Um, I, I was hoping you could plug it in, like, in her front lawn and just have it blasting some, uh, some music at her house, because I want to piss her off. You're a funny guy. Bye-bye. No, I'm completely serious. Guess I didn't think that one through too good. Oh, well. Here's a cherry wood dresser for $300. Hello? Hello, Sharon? Hi. Hey. How how's call hey, pretty good. How you doing? All right. What can I do for you? I was just calling about that cherry wood dresser. Oh, okay. Sure. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. Uh, it's, still, it's still here, and... Um, you're welcome to come and see it any time. Okay, and it's three hundred dollars, and it's cherry wood. Uh, yes, and it uh, has beveled mirrors that are Ooh. able to be a little side um, pivot to the front. Ooh. It also has inlaid top, and there is a side table Ooh. as well that um, comes with it. I didn't put that in the picture, but um, if you're interested in that, there's that as well too to go with it. I think I'm going to strip the whole thing down and refinish it in oak. Oh, how do you do that? Uh, you know, I just sand it all down with an electric sander and and just, uh, you know, just refinish the whole thing with uh, oak, oak paint. Colors, you mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Huh. So I'm going to do that at wow. your house, though. Do you do that all the time with stuff or what? Yeah, well, no, this is going to be my first time. I, I want to do it at your house, though, because I don't want to make a mess at my house. Um, do you have a place? <laughs> okay, so is this a joke? is this a joke or what? Oh no! I wouldn't kid about this. I just want. Um, I'm not sure what you mean then. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay three hundred dollars for it. I just want to keep it there for a few days while I sand it down, sand down the whole thing, and uh, you know, just I'm going to refinish the whole thing in oak. I'm going to use an oak finish. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to work for us. Why not? So I'm not sure. Why, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that work at our house. I'm not, you can. 
kind of confusing. Thank well, you. my wife would get mad if I did it at our house, like our garage. We keep our cars in our garage, and I'd get stuff all over her, all over the cars. Like, yeah, well, we live in a place where it's a gated community. and Yeah, um, yeah I live here in the community, the too. Uh, yeah, so I guess thank you for calling. Well, no, I can just, like, can I take it out and I'll just do it all in, in the driveway, in your driveway? I, I'm, I'm almost thinking you're joking with me. So, oh, um, no, I, w I wouldn't joke around about this. I just, I want to refinish it in oak. I, I hate cherry wood. But it's not <laughs> Why would you want to buy it then? Well, because it sounds like a nice dresser otherwise. You said it's got all that stuff on it. and, and, and just, It's a beautiful it... dresser. And I guess I just, I, I think you need to think about it. Um, well, Because I... I can't do it. Yeah, we can't do it at our house. So thank you anyway. Well, what about in the driveway? Or can I do it out in front, like out on the front sidewalk? Um, what, what do you have against oak? I have nothing against oak, but um, as I said, we live in a gated community, and it's a very small space, and yeah. I'm, I guess I think you need to find something that might suit you already or something. Well, I live here in the community, too. I, I'm with the... Um, in fact, I'm a part of the Homeowners Association. What's your name? Uh, this is Roy. What do you do with the Homeowners Association? Uh, I work here in the office. So, you know, like, oh. maybe you should just let me do it, even if you don't want to, because, you know, I'm one of the higher-ups here. And, um, come on, just just let me use your driveway. It's not a big deal. Come on, let me use your driveway. Please, it's not a big deal. please. You know what? I, um, just, I think you need to call me back later. I just, I'll talk to my husband, and you can call later. Thank I just want to learn how to refinish a dresser. That's all. And you sound, you sound uh, like a person I'm probably not able to deal with too much. Okay, thank why, you. Why not? Why, what, what is that supposed to mean? I, I really need to stop this call. Thank you very much. Why do you need to stop it? Damn it. I'm never going to learn how to refinish a dresser now. Well, that's the last one I can get to answer. Uh, here, let me try this other one one more time. This is a golf club for sale, but he's not picking up. Oh, hey there. Is Lieb around? Uh, he's not here right at the moment. Can I take a message? Um, well, he was selling that, that uh, left-handed golf driver thing. Oh, yeah? You, you know, the golf club, I guess? For, okay, uh-huh. For uh -huh. 115 mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And, um, I mean, I know uh, I'm calling from the Homeowners Association. This is Roy. Okay. And I know you guys are, uh, you know, you, you still owe us $100 for the fines. So maybe what fine? Uh, what fine are you the talking? fines because of those those bushes that you wouldn't take care of in the yard. So I was thinking. Are you talking? You're not talking to us. Uh, we oh, don't yeah. have no fines. It, it must be our next door neighbors. Oh no no it's you it's it's you and Lee. Um, but I was thinking he could just give us the golf club for you know it's 115 dollars that that takes care of it plus interest. Okay, well, when was the fine? I don't, we don't know anything about that fine. Oh, we were charging like $5 a day because your bushes look stupid. Are, like, who, give me your number. Uh, it's on caller ID. This is Roy from the office, from the Homeowners Association. And, uh, like, when did you tell us this? Oh, we sent letters and everything, and, and we, we told Lee, and Lee's like, you know, yeah, like, like shh, don't tell my wife about it. She's going to get mad, but... We were just telling. We were just trying to let you know that your bushes look stupid, and you had to do something about them. Well, we've he, got a gardener. I know, Why but is you got to train the gardener to to trim the bushes properly. To in in know, what way? Like, uh, just were so, they too big? Well, no, they just look stupid. Like, just tell them to make them. I'm sure Lee took care of it because it's fixed now, but they just looked really stupid. The bushes just okay, look really. What's your number? Uh, it's mm -hmm. four two zero six nine six nine. Okay, are you in the office? Yeah, well, I'm calling from home right now because it's late. But uh, okay, I was. What's I the just, office number? I just saw this. That that is the office number. I just saw that he was selling this golf. Oh, that's the office number. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, just, well, I'll just, tell him about it. Hey, but, you know, hey, like, I don't, I don't know how you could... Are you finding everybody in this complex? Because our bushes are no different than anybody else's. 
Well, no, um, yours were different because they looked really stupid. You know, this is months ago. They're all fixed now. Everything's on the up and up, but you still got to pay that those that fine for those twenty okay. days of st- stupid looking bushes. Okay. Well, I'll uh, get him to call you. Okay. Okay. Well, what do you think? Like, do you think he'll uh, do the golf club trade thing for me? Oh, uh, well, I I imagine, but then like uh, I don't understand how come the homeowners would take a golf club and. Well, you know, just and, just I, I figured I could just uh, make it disappear from the books, and that oh, w- I see. And that way, it, okay. it's, it's not on your record. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll get him to call you. Okay? Where, where's he'll, Lee? Call, he'll where, call you. Pardon? That, that, where's Lee at right now? Uh, I don't know. He went shopping. Ah, Why? Shopping for what? I don't know. Why are you asking me questions like that? I'm just curious. I'm just. I don't know. I'm just asking. I don't know. I was just hoping okay. I could get the golf club tonight, sure. and then I, you know, I'll make it disappear from the records tomorrow. Okay. Well, he'll uh, just, uh, he'll look, have to call you tomorrow I'll, because I think he's. I'll he's cook the not books. Be, cook the okay, books, basically. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. I'll let him know. All right. Um, okay. Are, are you guys selling anything else? Ah, uh, well, we've got some toys. <laughs> what kind of toys? Uh, just. Um, you know, like little kids' toys. Oh no, that sounds stupid. Okay, no problem. Sounds stupider than your oh. bushes. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Then, or he'll talk to you later. Are you the one that like started cutting the bushes stupidly like that? Like, are you the one that told the gardeners to do that? Are you out of your Are you out of your mind? Why would I do that? And they couldn't be stupid. They were just like either square or round. Which everybody else's are the same way. No, they weren't the same way. Yours were stupid. No one else has their bushes being stupid. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you go. I've got something burning, okay? What's burning? What are you cooking? Okay, Okay. good night. Good what night. is it? Tell me what it is. Did I just make her burn her dinner? Oops, sorry. So I think that's the last one. Nobody else is picking up, but I will save these and try them again. So thanks again, Max Power, for sending these in. Brad, Brad. Oh, yeah. Brad, Brad. Oh, I, Brad, just a very, very, very quick idea. Okay. See, see when, you, when, they, when you're doing your landlord from hell eh, pranks, mm-hmm. and, the, and the landlord person's asking, what what a eh, number flat is it? Just say you're dyslexic. And you can't read the number, or what a great idea! And they'll and I, and I promise they'll be more gentle with you. Bye. More what? Oh, gentle. Yeah, yeah. What? Are you making fun of my disability, lady? That's what I need to say to him. That's a great idea. I'll try to remember that. Hey, Brad, it's me, Mario. Hey, I'm in the Mushroom Mario. Kingdom. I've been going through the pipes today, looking for coins and flowers. What is this? What? Oh, all these Christmas trees! What? Why the? What the fuck? What is? What the Christmas tree? I'm up to my asshole in fucking flies Christmas trees. Anybody know anything about slamming nose? You can't fucking pull the Christmas tree Sorry. down. Sorry. Goddamn pipe, Brad! What the fuck? I'm drowning. Luigi, come help me! This fucking Christmas tree is the ornament to the lights and the fucking angel on top. God damn it, Brad! You cannot flush the fucking Christmas tree! No one's gonna win! Alright, sorry about that, Mario. Hey, Rory, it's Casey. Hello. Something you should do in advance of calling apartments is to call them up a couple days earlier and say you're from FedEx and need to update your phone system. Uh, Then ask them what their room number system is. Uh, It should only take a minute or two for each apartment complex and will keep you from looking like an idiot when you flush your Christmas tree later on. Yeah. Casey, away. Well, I usually go to 411.com, and usually it tells me the apartment numbers because it shows the listings of who lives at that address. But every once in a while, it doesn't show me anything. And I think I was just having really bad luck on that last show. But yeah, I could do that with FedEx. I could just go to usps.gov, put the address in there, and that would show me all the apartment numbers. But that takes more effort than 411.com. Hey, Brad. Uh, I've called them before, but I don't remember the alias I used. Anyway, not the point. Just wondering when yeah, you're using... Some phone calls with Tim Henson. Love to know when that's going to happen because oh. Tim is uh, pretty funny when it comes probably to phone calls when he does them. But, uh, just curious. Keep up the great work. Yeah, I should probably bug Tim about that soon. It took us forever just to do the PLA call in show thing. And I finally had to just send him an email and say, Look, Tim, we're doing this call in thing show. It's going to happen on Wednesday at this time. 
if you need a different time, then just tell me. And that worked. He's like, okay, sounds good to me. I'll be there. Something like that is how I made that happen. So maybe I'll do the same thing with prank calls. Grab Tim by his big fat head. Say, listen, we're doing prank calls tomorrow at 5 p.m. You don't have a choice. That's what I need to do. Hey, Brad. Laggy McStabby. Hey. So with all the stuff in the news about the robocalls and spoofing phone numbers, are you kind of like scared that you won't be able to do that anymore? No. I've been curious. That's all right. silly. We'll break out. Now, even if they completely ban caller ID spoofing and it's illegal and I can't do it anymore, I can still make calls. I'll just get actual real phone numbers in various states. I'll probably have to stick to certain states so that my phone number looks more realistic. But even without doing that, I could just call up businesses. Businesses don't care what your number is. There's always going to be ways. Hi, Brad. This is Bob Vance. Hey, Bob Vance. I was just wondering if you could send maintenance up to my room. Uh, I got a wood chipper to help dispose of my Christmas tree, and I think it got clogged because I left the ornaments on the tree. Oh, darn. Um, so Hate anyway, that. if you could help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. Bye, Brad. Bye, Bob Vance. That's a pretty good idea. I'm tempted to try that out, even though it's getting kind of late in the year to be disposing of Christmas trees. Hey, Brad. Hey. It's Will again. Hey, Will. Wait a minute. Not really. What? But, uh, I'm basically calling you because, uh, I'm drunk as fuck. And okay. I just want to let you know how much I appreciate your phone calls and all that. And now I started jogging all again, but... You're welcome. You are just one of you know, just fucking the best to do it, man. Oh, thank you. Keep it up. You keep I, doing that. You I keep will. doing that punk call shit. I'll do it. You understand? I'll never stop. Ah, right, big boy. Let me know if I need a pack of lunch. Yeah. Yeah, hey. pack, pack of lunch. How big a boy are you? That's all of the voicemails, so the show is over. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show. Xander Fett, Toiny Toiny, Weird Shortwave Listener, Effin Reality, and Brown Magic. It's their fault that more people didn't yell at me today. Everybody blame them. If you'd like to be a supporter of the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. You know, it's actually under $5 a month if you go to phone losers.org slash cactus. If you sign up for a whole year, it's 50 bucks a year instead of 60. It's a huge bargain. Everyone should just ditch Patreon and use the phone losers site. On the downside, though, you have to deal with those annoying podcast feeds that are a big pain in the ass to set up. So maybe just stay where you are. Anyway, thanks, everybody, for listening. I'll see you next time. Here's some Bone Cage. I see your house when I come to my place. Unpack my stuff. At 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you!